Hey guys, how's it going? I want to look at a commentary on Isaiah chapter 53, verse 10. This is yet another verse that Robert Breaker uses as a proof text to say that um, Jesus Christ, God the Son, was punished directly by God the Father uh, when he was, you know, hung on the cross and, and died on the cross. And which I don't agree with, but let's look at the verse. But the Lord was pleased to crush him, um, which is basically uh, <clears throat> the main part of it. But actually, I don't even know if that's the KJV version. So because it it says bruise him, so I'll read it from the E sword here. Isaiah fifty three ten. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He hath put him to grief. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin, he shall see his seed, he shall prolong his days, and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. So, please the Lord to bruise him. So, Robert Brigger says, The Lord directly bruised, or caused to suffer, uh, or, you know, the Father directly caused to suffer the Son. And uh, Albert Barnes we see here, uh, the Lord was pleased with his sufferings, not because he has a delight in the sufferings of innocence, not because the sufferer was in any sense guilty or ill-deserving, and not because he was at any time displeased or dissatisfied with what the mediator did or taught, but it was, one, because the Messiah had voluntarily submitted himself to these sorrows, so because of the submission of the Son, and uh, two, because of the sufferings would tend to illustrate the divine perfections to show mercy and, and to show the justice and mercy of God. Um, uh, and also because three, because the sorrows would result in the pardon and recovery of an innumerable multitude of lost sinners. So uh, the Lord, the, God didn't take pleasure in the fact that Jesus was suffering, but what that brought about uh, through the suffering of Jesus and uh, and the way that you know Jesus submitted himself to it and what was shown you know God's mercy and love uh, through this and uh, so then we go to bruise him it, it pleased the Lord to bruise him and so it says to see the other notes in Isaiah 53, 5, which I should look at, but for now, I'm not going to look at that. The word here is infinitive to bruise him, or being bruised was pleasing to Yahweh. That is, it is acceptable to him that he should be crushed by his many sorrows. It does not of necessity imply that there was any positive and direct agency on the part of Yahweh in bruising him but only that the fact of his being thus crushed and bruised was acceptable to him. So when it says that it pleased the Lord to bruise him, it doesn't mean that the Father directly caused the suffering of the Son. It just means that the Father was pleased in the suffering of the Son. And as I said, not because he was actually pleased that he was suffering, but because he was pleased of what was all going to come of this. So again, I think that Robert Breaker's interpretation of this verse is wrong. So think about it. God bless.